How can we get a perspective on just how powerful this little number is? Well, here's one way to do it. Starting right now, I'm going to draw a one centimeter image, and then every 10 seconds, I will take it to the next power, or 10 times larger. I wonder how big one centimeter times 10 to the 11th is gonna be. Whew, that image is tiny. So our next image is one centimeter times 10 to the first power, or 10 by 10 centimeters. It's still pretty small, but compared to our first drawing, it's huge. To the second power, we're going to have a pretty good size image here. Now we're up to 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters, or one by one meter. Ooh, it's nice to get away from those tiny little pictures. Going beyond this size is getting pretty difficult. To create a 10 by 10 meter image, I've had to use this huge roll of butcher paper and a hockey ring. The only way I could come up with making a 100 by 100 meter image, and this is insane, this is huge, was by using spray paint in the grass. To make a one kilometer image, which is one centimeter times 10 to the fifth, is borderline nuts, and I'm gonna have to use a floating tarp out here in a lake. GPS on. All right, this image is huge. It's 10 by 10 kilometers, so I'm gonna have to use the bike and the GPS to do the drawing. I'll have to get off the bike and into the car to widen my range to be able to create a 100 kilometer by 100 kilometer image, and I had to turn my GPS on and off to make the picture. To get the 1,000 kilometer image, I had to give my GPS to a friend of mine who's a freighter captain and give him coordinates to follow. It took him months driving around the Gulf of Mexico to get it done. I built up a ton of airline miles in order to create this 10,000 kilometer image, and this is what it would look like without the curvature of the Earth. To make a picture that is one centimeter times 10 to the 10th power, I had to enlist NASA and leave low Earth orbit. It made for a few great selfies along the way. Now we're gonna get beyond my capabilities, but if we were to take it to the 11th power, it would reach beyond the moon and we'd have to start connecting the stars. And there you have it. Art makes it possible for us to see the powers of 10 beyond a number or a measurement.